afternoon. It's Thursday, the sep September the 1st already. And um, I've just been cracking on all morning. I haven't been videoing what I've been doing, but I'm just going to give you a, a quick tour um, because the, the video has just run out too lengthy. So we'll give you a quick look at what we've been doing. So around the back of this shed was covered in bramble again and I decided we need to start making a, a go at this. So we started cutting this back here. Now there's a tree here. It's a, I think it's a rosehip tree. And it's been, it, over the years it's interwound itself through the fence. I don't know who planted it, I didn't. But I've actually severed it off down the bottom. As you can probably see, I've severed it through there and I've severed it through this one. And I've severed this one here, but there's one still here. I'm going to take this sheet off so I can get in there with the reciprocating saw and take it right down and then cut all this rubbish out of here because it does still keep growing back fresh and it's really strong and very spiny. I don't want it coming through the membrane when we put the membrane on the fence. So, that's extra work I'm going to have to do, but it's going to be done once and for all. I'm going to have to cut it into little sections and then try and take it out of that fence somehow. So I've still got a pallet here, and I've still got a bit of bramble to cut down here. And I've still got to get down the back side of here as well, and get all this cleared away as well. It looks worse than it actually is, and most of this is just lengthy branches. Oh look. Got some black eights. I might have a feed of them before I cut them down. <laughs> right, so that's a bit of work there on that job there, it's early doors. We've been constantly cutting weeds and throwing everything on the path. I can pick it up at any later time. But you'll know now, you'll see here now, I've actually uprooted this peach tree that I bought, the Red Haven peach tree. It's completely dead. It didn't make an attempt to put anything out, not even on the rootstock, which they normally do. So the rootstock is also dead. And looking at that, well, I'm not surprised. It didn't have a lot of root when I bought it, but there we go. We planted it in the hopes. The other one did survive, however, and has flourished. So I've been in the polytunnel today, I've been a tree house, promising to do this for long enough. And you can see I've got my, orange, uh, my blood oranges here. And I said I want to get these in the ground. I'm not making the same mistake. And yes, they might go a bit yellow. They might drop some leaf. But I'm going to put a shade netting up across here as well. But I'll give you a look in here now. This is what I've basically been doing. So we've tidied out the entire polytunnel. Put a shelf up so I can stop, stack all my wood and whatever. We've done those makeshift shelves at an earlier date. And that just plant pots and whatever you have. Now strung all the onions from the shelf. Just need to move this one bunch here and drop it down onto there or something. Also, the garlic and the onions, the scent of them might just keep other insects away from um, this <laughs> very, very healthy orange and lemon, as you can see now. And this lemon is even putting on lemons and flowering since we chopped it right back and put it in the ground. They, these two here were the same height as this one, as these, these two. I don't really like them tall like that, to be honest with you. Um, I probably won't let them go any higher than that, and what I'll do is we'll mark the trunks and make them branch out lower down, so it's more of a bush. So what we've done here is where that peach tree was, we've deepened the hole, loosened all the bottom, and I've put a good old layer of perlite in here because they don't like a lot of water. Um, so we've put a lot of perlite in the bottom here because I know in winter the water comes under these pallets. So I'm going to try and keep it sort of up in the air a bit and mound the soil so they can give the chance for the water to drain through. And hopefully they're going to, it's going to work and that will be successful. So... We've got these two to get in here and I might put the two figs in here as well. So I better crack on. Right so I decided to just put the blood oranges in in the end and not the olive trees. 
I might plant the olive trees outside. So I've left myself a space deliberately here now so that I can put a workbench on here or put some seedling trays on as well and then I can still get to it and open the windows and what have you. I've actually made this one into an opening window but it's screwed shut at the moment I'll put the catch on and I'm going to do the same with that one and potentially them two as well uh, and maybe even that one but again that's another job for another day so we had to severely cut this um, apricot back as well it was up here somewhere so I've trimmed this back that's going to be going outside in the ground as well so that will come out and uh, this peach tree was up to the roof and bent over it was huge but I deliberately let it go wild this year um, till it gets established and now I've cut it back and it might take a few more trimmings off that depending once the foliage drops and I see where the branches are it might take a few more clippings off it and then next year it should hopefully produce so yeah these have barely been watered in the, I mean you can see I've got a bit of a mound they've built up plenty of perlite in the bottom raised up and um, lots of perlite around it as well before backfilling and they've literally had a drop of water just to um, get the compost the new compost surrounding the root ball and likewise with this one now the beauty about these ones is they weren't in that hard clay they were in compost and the root balls were beautiful on these absolutely beautiful so basically we put them in, they're going to sulk, they might drop the leaves. Um, that's just the nature of citrus trees. But uh, yeah, we'll see how they go. They might just carry on. But they're not going, uh, because they're orange, they won't put any flower out this year. Or probably won't. They flower early spring, very early spring. Whereas the lemons will go all year round. This orange won't either, it's just getting itself established. And that's the first tiny drop, and I mean a tiny drop, of water that these trees have had in months. They basically look after themselves in the ground now, but they will need an odd drop occasionally, and I mean occasionally. Likewise with the peach, and that one has had no water, and look at the health of that. So it's much less maintenance putting them direct into the ground guys much 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 less maintenance so I've also um, pruned the apple trees back as well there's two of them anyways and the plum so I've cut this back and shaped it a bit and opened the centre um, this one is getting uprooted and moved into solid ground over there that one will be staying put but it'll be the only one in there um, this apple tree in a bucket will be going direct in the ground over there as well this um, rose, uh, not rose bush this little apple tree will be coming out and going in the ground over there as will this one here that's overgrown with weeds at the moment and these three here as well and then we get this weeded. The cherry bush, which is a cherry bush, will be staying. And I'll put stakes, I think I've said in an earlier video, I'll put stakes in the ground and we'll weave this bush in and out of the stakes. Um, it's really come on in leaps and bounds. This is its first year getting established. And as you can see, it really has got established. So we just need to train this and weave it. And it'll act like a bit of a fence down here. Uh, and a little bit of a sunshade down onto these beds for lettuces and things. That's the idea anyways. Um, so I still need to clip this as well, and uh, but not yet, until I've got it woven into some stakes and see how we're going to do it first, and train it that way, and train it that way, 
down here. Apparently these don't grow any higher than six, six feet, so that was the whole idea of this. And putting it in the centre was so we could train it that way and that way as well. Right, um, we also got the plum tree clipped out with its summer pruning. Maybe still come back and take another one or two off, however. Uh, yeah, there's one or two going straight. They want took out, standing back from it. So we'll take those out. And hopefully that will fruit next year. It's only been in here about ten years. <laughs> we did get fruit on it this year, about three plums, I think. And they either dropped off or the birds took them, one or the other. I, can't, I don't know which. Still got to tackle all that lot down there as well, but yeah. Little and often. Right, thanks for popping along again as always. Thanks for all your views, likes, comments, subscriptions, really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that big red button down below, it's totally free. And then the bell icon, select all, and every time I put up a new video, you'll be alerted. Right, little and often as I say, um, surprisingly it took quite some time to tidy that tree house up, I can tell you. But we've got a few more jobs done and it's another productive day and that's all that matters. So, um, as always guys, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, be practical, keep yourselves out of harm's way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Right, thanks for popping along again as always. Thanks for all your views, likes, comments, subscriptions, really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that big red button down below, it's totally free. And then the bell icon, select all, and every time I put up a new video, you'll be alerted. Right, little and often as I say, um, surprisingly it took quite some time to tidy that tree house up, I can tell you. But we've got a few more jobs done, and it's another productive day, and that's all that matters. So, um, as always guys, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, be practical, keep yourselves out of harm's way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.